COVID-19 Antigen Rapid Test Cassette Test Procedure Allow the test devices, reagents, and specimens to equilibrate to room temperature prior to testing. The kit consists of package insert, sterilized swab, workstation, extraction tube, dropper tip, extraction reagent, and test cassette. Test Procedure Put extraction tube on the workstation. Unscrew the lid of an extraction reagent. Add all of the extraction reagent into the extraction tube. Sample collection. Remove the swab from the package. Nasopharyngeal swab sample. Tilt patient's head back about 70 degrees. Insert the swab through the nostril parallel to the palate, not upwards, until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from the ear to the nostril of the patient. Gently rub and roll the swab. Leave swab in place for several seconds to absorb secretions. Slowly remove swab while rotating it. Oropharyngeal swab sample. Insert swab into the posterior pharynx and tonsillar areas. Wrap swab over both tonsillar pillars and posterior oropharynx and avoid touching the tongue, teeth, and gums. Insert the swab specimen into the extraction tube, which contains extraction reagent. Roll the swab at least five times while pressing the head against the bottom and side of the extraction tube. Leave the swab in the extraction tube for one minute. Remove the swab while squeezing the sides of the tube to extract the liquid from the swab. Cover the extraction tube with a dropper tip tightly. Remove the test cassette from the sealed pouch. Place the test cassette on a dry, flat surface. Reverse the specimen extraction tube, holding the tube upright. Transfer three drops, approximately 100 microliters slowly, to the specimen well of the test. Start the timer and wait for colored lines to appear. Interpret the test results at 15 minutes. Do not read results after 20 minutes. Interpretation of results. Positive. Two lines appear. One color line appears at the control region and another color line appears at the test region, irregardless of the intensity of the test line. Negative. One color line appears at the control region, and no line appears at the test region. Invalid. Control line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedure techniques are the most likely reason for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test using a new test cassette. The used test cassette should be discarded according to federal, state, and local regulations. Limitations The product is limited to provide a qualitative detection. The intensity of the test line does not necessarily correlate to the concentration of the antigen in the specimens. Negative results do not preclude SARS-CoV-2 infection and should not be used as the sole basis for patient management decisions. A physician must interpret the results in conjunction with a patient's history, physical findings, and other diagnostic procedures.